Hi, this is the second video in hierarchical clustering. In this video, we are going to discuss about the stopping condition and uh, what are different techniques for hierarchical clustering. So let's start by talking about the stopping condition. Now to have a stopping condition, what we can do, we can specify a threshold, okay? We can specify a threshold and we can stop when the minimum distance in the distance matrix increases the threshold distance. Okay, uh, so suppose uh, in the previous video only, uh, previous example, uh, we had uh, this distance matrix, right? Now, uh, this was the last distance matrix that we have. We could have specified a threshold here of 2.9. So once the minimum distance of our matrix crosses this threshold value, we say that our stopping condition has been met and these are the clusters that we are going to have. We have these are the three clusters that we are going to have. Okay, so uh, that is how we could have approached uh, this particular problem. We can specify a threshold. Now, how do you uh, define a threshold? There are three ways to do that. The first way is uh, through diameter, then through radius, and then through density-based approach. Let's talk about all of them. What is the diameter? Diameter is the difference. Uh, let me just, you know, uh, have a cluster here. Okay. So this is one cluster that we are having. What is the diameter right now? Diameter is the distance between two farthest point of the cluster. These are the two farthest point. So the distance between these two points will be known as the diameter. Okay, uh, let's talk about what is radius. Radius is going to be, uh, suppose uh, we have a centroid here. So radius is going to be the maximum distance of a point from the centroid. This is what we are going to call as radius. And what is this density based approach that we specify that uh, number of points in a cluster per unit diameter. Okay, basically we specify that in a particular cluster K, we are going to have only 10 data points. Okay. If the number of data points increases 10, then we are just going to stop our uh, approach. Okay, so these are the three ways in which you can specify a threshold. So uh, when do we stop? Okay, so when do we stop? We can stop either when the diameter exceeds the threshold diameter. So basically we have specified a threshold na, ki that do do farthest point ke beech mein maximum itna distance hona chahiye, right? And when the diameter exceeds that threshold distance, we can stop. Or when the radius exceeds the threshold radius, we can stop. Or th when the density exceeds the threshold density, we can stop. So this was all about the stopping condition. Next, what we are going to discuss is other techniques for hierarchical clustering. The basic algorithm for hierarchical clustering is going to remain the same. What we are going to change is how we calculate the nearest point. Okay. So uh, there are three methods to do that. The first method is single linkage. What is single linkage? The distance between two clusters. Okay. Uh, if you remember till now, uh, we have been taking the distance between two clusters as the distance between their centroids, right? Now we are going to change that. Single linkage says the distance between two clusters should be taken as the distance between uh, their two closest points. Okay. Uh, the distance between two clusters is the distance between two closest points belonging to those clusters and other parts of the cluster is not actually taken into the consideration when calculating this okay so even if the cluster was just this big even if the cluster had these four points even then uh, this the distance would be the same okay uh, so basically the similarity between two clusters is based on the similarity between their two most similar members okay then we talk about complete complete linkage. In complete linkage, we take the farthest points of the clusters to uh, measure the distance. Okay, so this method takes into the account the global structure of the uh, cluster. Okay, uh, it basically takes the entire structure of the cluster into the consideration, and this linkage actually takes outliers very 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 seriously because uh, outliers are generally the point now which is at the farthest of the data side so this uh, particular thing takes uh, it very seriously 
एंड एवरेज लिंकेज वी स्ट्राइक अ बैलेंस बिटवीन कंप्लीट एंड सिंगल वी द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू क्लस्टर्स इज एक्चुअली द डिस्टेंस इज एक्चुअली द एवरेज डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ईच पॉइंट एंड देर आर अदर मैथड एज वेल बट दे आर बी ऑन द स्कोप ऑफ आवर कोर्स इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ वेरी यू नो लिटिल बिट ऑफ कंपेरिजन बिटवीन हायरिकल एंड की मीन्स क्लस्टरिंग